Welcome back everyone. As most of you know, I went ahead and did a low power mode versus regular power mode on my iPhones the other day. And funny enough, I actually want to do it again for my Androids. And I don't know why I'm talking like that because I already did one. And I didn't have two identical of the same phones that are like new. I had some that were older, but I had the Galaxy S21. So I figured I might as well try it between those. So what I did was I got my Samsung Galaxy S21 on low power mode and then you know I filmed that video and then I did the same thing on regular power mode, filmed that video, I matched everything up, lined them up identically and what's super crazy, I was not expecting this, was that the Samsung Galaxy S21 that was on low power mode, I think from my opinion, you guys may come up with your own opinion, but from my opinion from what I saw after aligning them up perfectly to the T frame by frame, I saw that the Samsung Galaxy S21 on low power mode was faster at app opening speeds than the Samsung Galaxy S21 that was on you know regular power mode and that really doesn't make too much sense to me because I'm like you know low power mode it should be or power saving mode Samsung calls it it should you know limit some things you can do it shouldn't make the phone faster at least in terms of app opening so that was something that was very crazy now on the flip side I will tell you because the phone pretty much turns off the 120 hertz it really doesn't feel extremely smooth so it definitely feels more more choppy and you can kind of see the choppiness you know when you look through the video but overall I really don't think it's a tremendous trade-off I think if you want to save the most battery you know turning off the 120 Hertz is the probably the better way to go but that is still actually pretty insane you know the fact that power saving mode is actually you know faster from what I can see on an on my Android device at least than on you know regular power mode now compare that to what I saw with the iPhones the other day I saw pretty much that you know the iPhones low power mode is definitely you know kind of slowing down those iPhones and I think that's okay because you know for less power less speed you know you get more power overall or more battery so I think that's totally okay and it's totally expected all the features still work and everything there which is great on the Android side it seems like the speed is still kind of consistent it just seems like the main things they do maybe are limiting you know super high intensive graphics that may be one way to look at it but other things maybe you know like the 120 hertz or lack thereof certain things like that maybe not increasing the brightness a certain amount those are other issues you know when I turn on power saving mode it did actually limit my brightness so I had to kind of fix that a little bit so that's another kind of thing to keep in mind I think ultimately power saving mode really does help a lot in general for kind of you know increasing your battery life but I wasn't expecting my Android device on power saving mode to outperform in this speed comparison at least on you know regular power mode which is crazy now I will hopefully do a you know full in-depth comparison between these two you know one on low power mode and one on regular power mode but that is seriously insane I like I said before I was not expecting this type of difference between the two so I think if you're trying to go and you know either determine whether you want to be on low power mode or regular power mode on your Android device. I will tell you, at least on Samsung's regular power mode and low power mode in terms of speed comparison standpoint, it isn't really that big of a difference and in some cases may actually lead to better performance from what I can see. But like I said, it does limit things like the 120 hertz and you know the brightness and all that stuff. So if you're okay with that, then that's that'd be something to test. I, I'll go ahead and do the same thing on some other phones too and then kind of test it out further. But that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.